Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackjack, I'm Blackjack Gaviani. Uh, my dad's vacuuming in the next room, so, uh, yeah. Now, I had everyone vote on where I should go next, now that I defeated the Zora campaign, and, um, I got three votes, and they were all for different things. One of them wants me to go. Uh, yeah, Kakarika. Oh, yeah, that should be right here, right? Uh, no. Wait. Uh. It's somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Kakariko. Um, someone else wants me to go to the Rito area. And here? And someone else wants me to go... Uh, crap, where was the other place they wanted me to go? Um, <laughs> gosh, where, what was the other thing I said? Um, I said Kakariko. I said, uh, okay, community, Gerudo Town. Yeah, Goron City and Hateno Village got no votes. Um, it pulls but up for 15 hours. So, uh... I'm going to go to Kakariko just because it's closest to where I am out of those. So, um, I'm going to put a big stampy stamp right there. And yes, I know that there is a, um, a way I can fast travel very close by, but I don't care. This game is about both the journey and the destination, so why deprive myself of half of that? Hello, dragon. Oh my goodness. So, because I've been playing this, and because I love watching Smash Bros. reactions, um, I, uh, uh, I've been getting recommendations for, basically, why does Zelda suck so bad in Smash and how to fix it? Honestly, one of the big things, I think. Add Impa. Please. Give me, uh, especially her uh, Hyrule Warriors design, which is based on her Ocarina of Time design, but it's not exact. I think there's going to be something there. You don't just carve that kind of circle into a mountain and then not put something there. Yeah, this part was definitely hollowed out at some point. I want to get up there. Ah, last episode. It sure was nice of Sidon to give us his stand. But right now, we need that. Uh, I don't know. And this maybe. Yep. Nah. There you go, Link. I live in the full, uh, the full climber outfit. He looks like he's like the drummer to like ACDC or something. It's so much fun. I mean, not like the actual ACDC drummer, but like he looks like he could be. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know all that much about ACDC, but you know, it's that kind of image. It Thank you, Dingus. Get up there. Really? There's actually nothing here? Huh? Well, alright then. I remember a few of these did have Koroks in the previous game. Either, like, on the top of them or, like, some sort of balloon to shoot or something. But anyway, though, yeah, a lot of talk about how to make the Zelda characters in Smash better. Because um, you know me. I love Smash. And I love Zelda. Although, it's it's funny. Uh, okay, I'll talk about that part later. But, um, yeah. Zelda is not represented well in Smash. 
Like, at all. Um, Ganondorf. That is a problem. Okay, they finally gave him his sword for a couple of moves. He's not even really associated with a sword. I mean, he has a sword. But the iconic weapon we associate him with is his trident. But even then, that's I guess that has its own problem because the trident is associated with his beast form. Well, his pigman form. In his full beast form, he it's different. Huh. Still in the place I I sat. Oh no, I guess that's over here somewhere. There we go. Look at look at that posture in the in the mask. Oh, I want to show you. I did pick up. Da 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 da! Star fragment! <sighs> anyway, though, um, yeah, Ganondorf in Smash is just absolutely nothing like how he is in the games. I don't know why they decided that he should be, of all people, a Captain Falcon clone. Um, it's just weird. It's just freaking weird. It's like, w why? Why Captain Falcon? What does he have to do with anything? Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, hello. There you go. No, wait. Bro. That one's still alive, huh? Okay. Not for long! Grab these. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Wow, you're damn terrible. But yeah, I mean I guess I guess Zelda's represented okay, even though in the games she's usually depicted at like when she fights, um she like an archer. I mean Roasted bass spear. Goodness, looks like something you can fish with. I guess she's not usually depicted as an archer. She has had a sword before. Uh, maybe I'm just thinking of Hyrule Warriors. Um, but, um, you know, they, they gave her a fairly good moveset, even if it is basically just a unique one. Or, uh, uh, brand new one. Uh, something I'd like to see is uh, Zelda, because it is kind of a composite. Uh, a Zelda that incorporates inspiration from both Sheik and Tetra. Even if you keep Sheik her own character. Wait, I don't even need to do that, do I? What? No, no, why did why did you whistle, you dumbass? No, 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 no. Actually, she <laughs> one time I got kicked out of a Smash Bros. Discord for referring to Sheik as she, because apparently that was transphobia? What? Like, even if... Zelda did change her body through magic, which was, if I recall, only in that one manga, she's still Zelda. She still identifies as Zelda. <laughs> yeah, Sheik is like a character she plays. It's like... 
This is, I, I don't understand. Anyway, yeah, um, Toon Link and Young Link basically just play like Link, even though they really shouldn't. They also brought up how Breath of the Wild Link wasn't really represented well, either. Um, he was basically just the same way he'd always been, but he was, uh, you know, they gave him the double bombs. I can't hear anymore. What? What? Yeah, I did some cooking, but it really, it really limits you that much? That does not make sense. Uh. But yeah, like, identifying someone's true identity, for, um, regardless of what their body is like, just the opposite of transphobia, you dinguses. Anyway, I doubt any of the people from that Discord are going to be here. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, Link and Young Link are basically just Link, but again. And, uh... So people were saying uh, Toon Link's Final Smash should be like he sends a signal to Tetra who blasts them with blasts the opponent with a cannon, <laughs> which would be really cool. It also would play that her ship is never far away. Deep force. Is that like deep hurting? Okay, I'm getting tired of these noises he's making. I'm gonna. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Bounce up near as far as I wanted it to. Um, hmm. I guess I, why is the water so bouncy? Maybe if I get on top of this and I can like swim up? No, I can't climb it. Uh, not swim up, go up the. 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 that thing, the ascend thing. I can't climb it. Okay, so, um... Oh, uh, yeah. I think that would be fun. Um, Young Link's Final Smash. You know, the uh, Fierce Deity. That would be amazing. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, that that doesn't work. That do oh, it's a float. Um, do I have to? Oh, no, I can't raise the water level, can I? I'm gonna have to bring that thing down. Uh, hmm. Well, I got no clue. But yeah, anyway, that's some ways to do. That's the way to improve Zelda in Smash Bros. Um, uh, like what I was going to say is that you know I I still die in Smash. Um, I haven't like I haven't always really been like a Zelda fan. 
until Breath of the Wild. Like, I liked it when it was there, but I never really went out of my way to access Zelda material. <laughs> I said Breath of the Wild is just like, oh my god, you know? Okay, um, hmm. Do I have any Octo Balloons? Hmm. down here if I did. Huh. Frick. I, I seriously don't know where they are. Um. Yeah, la 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 but anyway, though, Breath of the Wild gave me, like, this intense sense of nostalgia. And, like, though I'd played the games before, it wasn't nostalgia for other Zelda games. It was nostalgia for, like, the sense of constant exploration. What the hell do I do here? Deep Force. I... I just... Hmm. <laughs> Oh! Alright then. I guess it kind of was like deep hurting. I think mom's right here in front now. I don't know. Okay, what's going on over here? Something. Ah. It's a good thing I looked. Um, hello. Please do not. Yeah, please don't. That is very rude. That part in DBZ abridged. <laughs> Sir, I will get to you when I am ready. Oh, Rakum apologizes. <laughs> uh, it's just like, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I am talking to my son. <laughs> about, like, these people are just giving everyone a thrashing, and Goku fully expects them to just, you know, obey. You know, laws of basic politeness. Ah, shit. Do I actually need the... Okay, I don't know what this thing actually is. It's just another... Ah, what's... What's this light over here? Well, it disappeared as I got closer, but there was a green light glowing up right there. I'm gonna go back, gonna get the, uh, oh, hmm. Maybe what I can do is this. <sighs> Maybe I don't need the, uh, the float. Maybe I just need something. Uh, something to hit that space. Come on, this, this. Fuck. Can't raise it high enough. Um, I, I just want to see something here. Up. 
frickin' heck, you know what I mean? Of all the things. Uh, well, I can just grab this one. No, no. Okay, yes. Yes, come on. La da 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 Oh! I wonder if I could attach it to an arrow. That'd be funny. And I don't want to have to keep moving back and forth. Okay. There we go. Okay, so because I think that this is handy, I gotta take this. Okay, and Okay, all right. Here's what I can do. I can just wiggle that out there. No, Link. Link, I pushed the jump button. Please. Please to obey. What the hell? Grab. Grab. Link, you dumbass. You phenomenal dumbass. How are you the fabled hero? Grab. <sighs> I mean, I guess it is just a supposition that it's like this. Okay, and I guess like this? Nothing is moving that thing. Hmm. This works. Sure is taking a long time. There we go. Okay, so what do I do now? I guess... There we go. Oh my freaking god. Come on. Uh, remember when we saw the green swirls in the original trailer? Or, what did anyone think they were? Just, just incredible to look at. Uh, I cried. River, I cried at that trailer. Uh, I had, I had my creating a champion book and I hugged it. <laughs> Cause I had all this stuff on hand for the E3 presentation, yeah? My birthday is in just a few days. My birthday is actually in a week from when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on the 6th, and my birthday is on the 13th. Next Tuesday. 
how old am I going to be? Well, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> okay. Interesting. All right. Lanailer Wetlands Chasm. Oh, hey. Ha 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 Come on, give me the light em ups. <sighs> give me the light em ups. There they are. Bright blue. Your mighty construct bow is badly damaged. I'm sure it is. Ah, okay. Uh, that's a bit disturbing. Okay, so let's try over here. Let's see if we can make it up. Oh, that's just the uh, that's the the light area thing. Regardless, I forget what they're called because I haven't been out of the depths in a while. The completionist episode on this is gonna be absolutely insane. I know he technically did one, but it was only like a hundred hours in. Usenoge Light Route. Ah. Mm, okay. Wow, look at that. Ah. It looks like it's like a statue in smoldering silence. Oh. Oh, this ain't good. I mean, I'm I'm still gonna I'm still gonna take the sword, but um, hello. Ah, well, it's just a traveler's claymore. I guess I don't need it. Pura? Robbie? Oh, I'm at your pose. In a very spooky forest. Yeah, this can't possibly go wrong. Wow. Yeah, they're growing like peacock tails. Ah, uh, good gravy. Look at this place. I sold some of these to Beetle, and he was telling me all about them, which implies that he knows very much about them. You know, because we, we don't have any indication or any, any way, any reason to believe that K 
characters in these games are lying to us unless the story tells us they are, so... Oh, okay, I guess I have photographed them. So. La 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 la! They eat ripened seeds? Is that what I'm saying? They eat ripened seeds and zonite? I would think that would be the implication. Okay, I think this was the. Yes, it is. The tree with the toes. I think. You dunce, you phenomenal dunce. Large Poe. Okay. Okay, I've got that. That's good. Getting the little bugs is always tedious. Because, you know, the little bugs, they flit all around. Getting the tiny little birds is also very tedious. Okay, those those creatures are covered in something. Gotta be 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 covered. We turned on storage sense to optimize storage usage. We've turned on storage sense for you. Do I have to transfer more? More of my precious playback videos. This place is freaky. I swear I got Zora's spear before, though. Is this just a regular blue moblin? Dang, uh... Hmm. Okay, yeah, hi, hello. Name's Link, maybe you've heard of me? Oh, damn! Oh man, I almost didn't get away from that one. <sighs> okay, puff shroom. I'm recording what? Okay. Okay. It wouldn't let me pick up the stone talus heart last night. So. I just took it with me on the end of my stick. Ah, uh, this is. This is cutting through everything. Look at that. These are like the the, 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 the 
Oh yeah, they're like time bombs. Awesome. Huh, I wonder what could be in this oh. That's not a cauldron at all, it's a statue. <laughs> Nothing is in it. I'm gonna go uh back over here. There's more of those other statues. I'm gonna go back over here and see if the light will get rid of this. Sticky stuff I need. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, this is just where I came in, isn't it? There's all these particles in the air. It's pretty neat. Oh, here's an interesting... Uh, oh, yeah, these stones are glowing. That's um, interesting. Uh, okay, I was actually kind of expecting these to have faces on the other side of them. More pose, more pose. Do they regenerate? Like, is there a constant supply of them? I'm glad that you don't have to chase them. Oh, gravy. Yes, more bomb flowers. Ooh, more pose, more pose, more pose. Okay. Treasure trove. Hey, come on, grab a grab. You coming with me? And all the way back over here. This is not convenient. I thought that was... I guess that is a wall. Oh! More of them! Look at that! Look at that! Um, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, look at that. I have 128 pose. I think it's time that we go back to that statue. And we, um... Huh. This area. Oh, I thought this... The, I thought that this... Uh, solid part would be a plaque or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see something. Oh, I'm out of ideas. Link, Link, are you climbing the glowing rocks? That's not a good idea. You're not the boss of me, Zelda. Actually, I am. Okay, you're not my mom. Of course I'm not your mom. That would make my diary entries extremely awkward. What? Zelda, what was that? You're breaking up. 
Yes. I probably should, shouldn't I? <laughs> Okay, uh, I may as well, this is actually, yeah, it'll take us farther, but you know, hmm. <laughs> Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought something on the map under here said Snide Lake. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Oh, it is raining. Oh, hello, quest giver. Working hard despite the bad weather, Link? Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Recently, Pura asked that we suspend our involvement in the search for Princess Zelda. So, we've resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three squads are out hunting monsters and gathering information about recent large monster sightings. They've been sharing updates with us. Oh. Haza Squad, Torin Squad, and Flaxel Squad of the Monster Control Crew are taking down monsters all across Hyrule. Good to see Flaxel got himself a good job, you know? I don't remember Torin. Uh. Haza Squad is hunting monsters in Hyrule Field to the south of Lookout Landing. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Uh. Torin Squad is on the north side of Death Mountain in Elden. They're heading for a cave discovered at Lake Darman, which used to be a lava lake, but has since stopped flowing. Oh. They're taking out the monsters nesting in the cave, so if you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Uh. Mm. Flexo Squad is hunting monsters in Farron to the south. They're aiming to subdue the pirate ship on the Menote River to the south of Lake Hylia, which is west of Highland Stable. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Oh. Curious about anything else? Oh. I've heard tell about a large no about a number of large monsters. Uh. Our comrades out on a survey in Akala reported an attack by a Talus. <sighs> a Talus looks like a giant mobile pile of angry rocks. Hard to miss. With our current weapons, we wouldn't be able to put a scratch on that thing. Makes sense. Oh. Recently, there were some travelers passing by Trilby Plain near Woodland Stable in Northeast Hyrule Field. Their intel confirmed a sighting of a Hinox in the area. Hinox are huge one-eyed beasts. They're incredibly strong. So strong, in fact, that they wield trees as weapons. We go after it with that kind of strength and beat over our heads. It's a real situation. You don't have any sightings of Gliok, though? Oh. Uh. I have a report saying a Muldugo is discovered in the East Barrens in the Gruno Desert. The report came from the ground research team, and they've asked us to <sighs> exterminate it. Maldugo is a terrifying beast that swims in the sand like a fish. We go after it. We don't have the means to tackle a monster that burrows in the sand like that. Yeah, you fucking do. Uh, I know for a fact that you do. Oh. 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 I'm told that your skill in swordplay is unmatched. If you ever stumble into one of our squads during your travels, please lend your legendary skills to our plight. Hi. Ah, Link, will you be heading out? It'll be a complicating factor if you get lost during your travels. Please make sure to check your destinations. Uh, apparently so. Uh. Link, you've got to hear me out. Romano, the guy in charge of cooking, went to Hyrule Castle and never came back. Thanks to him, I'm stuck here on fire duty me forever. Oh, when I say Hyrule Castle, I don't mean somewhere dangerous like the chasm near there or anything. Specifically, he went to Hyrule Castle's dining hall. The folks investigating the chasms and told him... 
We had some super special recipe in the dining hall, so he left, just like that. Uh. We wouldn't do anything dangerous, so I'm not too worried about him. If that back to his mail time, I start to worry. Oh, hi, Jaren. Mm. Oh, hey, it's you again. So, you know, I've taken the time to say all my goodbyes. The thing is, it's always really dusty around here, so I work overtime to clean it all up. I was working so hard, in fact, that the force of my broom accidentally took out part of this wall. Ever since, I've been hearing this creepy voice coming from the hole I made. It sounds like, it sounds like a demon growling. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. Uh. At this point, I'm pretty sure I unsettled that day when I busted out the wall. <sighs> Here stands to reason that if it wants revenge, I'm the one who'll be targeted. Robbie Grante, goodbye forever. Right, I'm gonna take a nap. Uh... Dun dun na na na. <laughs> oh, am I using a blood moon? Oh, I guess not. Lazy bones. Okay, come on, let's let's try this. Good. Discovery rail hidden path. Oh, you come to me. Yes, here are some who still pay me homage. You don't say you can hear my voice, and that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life, wealth, like so many of your kind. Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power, that was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into the stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected. But that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company. And finally, here. When were you in a pond? Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I've only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. I'm sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for far too long. And fish make terrible deals. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. You... <laughs> Did you think I deceived you? 
perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will it be? A wise choice now remains sealed. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you. A heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. How about go fuck yourself? Oh, okay, wow. Um. Link, link. Okay. All right. Okay. go. I'm actually quite amazed at how good I'm getting at destroying the lag likes. Uh, okay, now it's a blood moon. Oh, interesting. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if this one does. No, it doesn't. Let me see if that regrows the rocks. When the glow of the blood stained, blood -stained moon, moon shines, shines upon, upon the, land. the land. Okay, yeah. It. Uh, okay, good. Oh, I need more stick figures. You. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Okay. Oh, yeah, the frame has to be the end. 
All right. Oh, arrows. That's that's always worth it. Okay, yeah, I don't need that. That's fine. Okay, let's go up there. Link, you can you can stand up there. There, thank you. Oh my gosh, gotta. <sighs> oh. Oh, not what I was intending on doing, but okay. And I think we can go back out. I think that's all, everything that's out there. Uh. I broke the wall and angered the demon. Let me paying for it with my life. Let me cry and take it by forever. <laughs> Wait, you what? You went inside the hole? You watched me. T did you find the demon? Is, is this goodbye for me? Mm -hmm. Wait, a demon statue was in there, you say? I know a bit about this. Want to know what I know? Eh. A dealer in life and power, touched by the wrath of the goddess, fallen to ruin. Then that must mean the horned statue is an entity who deals in life and power. To make the days the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. Mm. So the voice I heard was the forlorn horned statue. As there is the goddess of light, then it follows that she would have an opposite, the horned god. You, you phrase that in such a way as if it's the horns that make them evil. I mean... Diona has horns, and she's not evil, I hope. Like, light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. The power manifests through the other's existence. Uh. Knocking a hole in the wall. That was fate, no doubt about it. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area a spick and span. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue from here, too. Oh, and thanks, you know. Take this. Oh, here we are. <laughs> it's Ravi's spending allowance for next month, but now it's your spending allowance. 20 rupees? Really? You can't even buy lunch with 20 rupees. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Great. Now just settle the old nerves and get back to work. Why do I have a feeling I'll end up going down into that pit at some point? Okay. Mm -hmm. this. All off a pose. Hmm. I want to get that dark tunic. Ah, ah what an excellent knight. The power of hat will prove to be absolutely essential for finding the princess. I'm sure of it. So the pen upgrade to be even more used starting with that shrine sensor. I can't do it at lookout landing, not with the meager equipment we have on hand here. You have my genius for these things, and I upgraded the pair of hat a research lab with that type of That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the pair of hat which Per and I developed. Once I'm in that lab, you can join me. And you join me there, I can further improve your pair of hat starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Decluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side, it's a Tano village. Go a bit farther than that, you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. I'm interested in where Josh's research is headed. So stay here a bit longer. I'm sorry, Tauro. You're just not the right one for the job. C come on, don't say that. You've got to let me cast my line to the depths, too. I'm capable of deciphering some Zonai script. Who else can tackle that stuff? I mean, your skills would be super helpful to me. You're the one in charge of the Zonai survey team, after all. But aren't you headed up the Ring Ruins in Kakariko Village anyway, Tauro? That's where your focus should be. Those fallen ruins are huge and exciting. Big enough to see from Lookout Landing. So please, finish your work there before asking to join in new research. <sighs> But, but to read first-hand Zonai history, that bait's too juicy to pass up. <sighs> oh. Hello. Hello. Ah, Swordsman. Uh, uh, someone else is here for the job already? Uh, I guess it's a lost cause. Head back to Kakariko Village and just stare up at those ring ruins. Didn't she tell him to study the ring ruins? As in, go inside and... Taro is an amazing person, and he's a first-rate archaeologist, too. 
But he loves Zone and research so much that he bolted from a project to chase any new discoveries. Oh. I've been looking for someone to help with my investigation of the depths. I mean, you'd be best for the job. Oh. Thank you. Having you help out is such a relief. I'll explain all the details to you. Come with me. Okay, an, uh, an explorer whose passion for field research is unrivaled. He loves to, he lives to make big discoveries, and he spent a long time traveling solo investigating ruins. He's also an expert in reading Zonai writing. Princess Zelda found him to be the perfect choice for leading the Zonai survey team. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Kaizi energy. Okay. Swordsman, this way. I'm right here. So, remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure. I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da! Just look. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. The scene shows there's a whole series of statues down there like the one you found for me last time. What really caught my uh, attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's gotta be one of Zonai. And there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Uh -huh. So, to collect my thoughts on all of this... I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I, I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all this is still just speculation on my part. So... <laughs> that's where you come in, Swordsman. I want you to find that temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. That would not have got uh -huh. you very far. You can have these two. Yeah. Red balloons and the arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus to check you out the depths may prove us with clues where to find out Woohoo! Princess Zelda. So it all works out. Maybe you'll snag your mysterious power yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, swordsman. Hmm. Okay, right now we have been recording for over an hour, so I'm just going to pause here and we will come back tomorrow with uh, with more Tears of the Kingdom. Until next time, I am Blackjack Gabbiani and I am constantly on the lookout. <laughs>